Bluebeam is a PDF editor that is heavily used in the construction industry. Now, it is mainly used for marking up and communicating on drawings or what they call blueprints, sheets, whatever they wanna call it, from designers to contractors, trades, and owners. Now, I've worked in the semiconductor construction industry for about four years now. I've worked on the general contractor side, the cost consultancy side, and also now on the owner side. My job literally used to be putting these sets together, whether it was gas systems, exhaust systems, piping, or electrical substations, you name it. So in this video, we're gonna be going over how to bookmark and hyperlink large sets. Now I only have two pages because I had to recreate it in Canva, which was kind of difficult, but uh, I didn't want to do a full set, obviously, and the functionality still works the same because we're gonna be doing a batch hyperlink. So it will work the same. So first we're gonna be going over bookmarking. So that is how to navigate a set. Then we're gonna be going into a batch hyperlink, which is like an automation hyperlink. And then we're gonna finish off with how to do individual hyperlinks, which take a lot more time, but I did want to touch on it in this video. If you're new here, my name is Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel, but I worked in the construction industry and I still am in the construction industry. I just do data science kind of work now, but I'm obsessed with software and that's kind of how I transitioned from mechanical engineering into kind of more of a software data science role. And Bluebeam is no exception. It has tons of functionality and I want to go over a few tips and tricks for you guys today. So here is my example, and we're gonna be walking over how to do batch hyperlinking, bookmarking, all that jazz. So this is my example. I completely made this up. So I made it as realistic as possible, um, and it's by you know a fake company called The Cost Lab, which I founded, and then I changed the name to my current LLC, so ignore that. But we are going to, first, we want to do a bookmark. So you can see on the side here, um, there are no bookmarks, so you can't navigate this. So if this was a hundred pages, this would be, you'd be scrolling forever, right? And it'd be kind of inconvenient. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some bookmarks, which is very simple. You just click this button here. It says create bookmarks. Go ahead and click that. You're gonna click page region because we're gonna select it from the page region, which shows the drawing number. So we're gonna go ahead and click that, press select. Um, Click that, and then we're gonna zoom in. Now, I it works if you have a mouse with an extra button, because I'm gonna hold control as I scroll in, and then you can see I need to move down, and I have an extra button on my mouse, so I'm gonna use the button to navigate down to the page number and zoom in more, holding the control button. And then I'm use, gonna use my click, right? Left click, and I'm gonna drag until that whole thing is covered, and you can see it says region one. Now I'm gonna put a space dash space. It's very important that you add the space dash space. And then I'm gonna press add and I'm gonna use my little button again and hold control to zoom out, use my button to drag over and I'm gonna get this whole area and bam, you have a full bookmark. So then you're gonna press okay and then okay again. And then you can see it automated, uh, automatically generated some bookmarks here. So now you have a bookmark here and a bookmark here, which is a lot better than what we had before. Now, how to batch hyperlink in order to, if there was a reference from this page to another page, um, you would have to go and look for that page, right? We want to add a symbol button where we can click it and it goes straight to it. Now, Bluebeam has this functionality because everything is OCR'd, it can see the text and search it. So how we have to do that is we have to actually go down here to the thumbnails and make sure we grab and pull the bookmark down onto the thumbnail because right now it says the thumbnail is page one and page two. So we're gonna go ahead and click create page labels. We're gonna do from the bookmarks, right? Because we already did a page region. There's no reason to redo that. Press okay and then bam, you saw how that changed down there. So now we have two pages that have changed, right? And then what we can do now is we can go into batch, link, new, add open files, next. Then what we're gonna do is we need to tell it what to search for, right? That's why we did the space dash space, right? So we wanted to look for the first little piece of it. We don't want it to look for piping and instrumentation and blah. So we're gonna make sure it's clicked page label. We're gonna go to settings and I'm gonna do first from start 
and then a dash or a space, right? Whenever it hits that first space, that's what it's gonna cut off and it will search. So I'll press okay. I like to add the yellow, so I include appearances right here because I want to know which ones were batched versus which ones were not batched. So I press okay. Um, and then I will press generate up here and then bam, it generated two. So it's gonna look for these two names throughout the entire document. And anytime it comes across that name, it's gonna add a hyperlink to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press run. And it says one hyperlink created, cause I only put one in there, cause I was lazy. So if we go to the first page and we zoom in here, we can see provide and install butterfly damper and actuator CM0-001. So now if I cover over that button, it says it'll take me to that page. So I go ahead and click that and bam. But the cool thing is this will do it for the entire document. So if you have a thousand pages, think of all the time you just saved. So that's really cool. That's what I love about Bluebeam that not a lot of people will end up using and I love it so much. The other thing you can actually do, so that was, we did bookmarks, right? We did batch hyperlinks. Now, what I also like to do is I like to do um, what's called an individual hyperlink. And they're a little bit more time consuming. So you need to go into your tools and I'm gonna go ahead and use my plan button. So it's one on my tool chest. And I'm gonna link this to my plan view because I have, a, this is a PNID. I'm gonna link it to my plan view. They're kind of one in the same. So I'm gonna hold down shift H to get this little four corner guy. I'm going to drag over it. I'm gonna press get rectangle because I wanna say, okay, when you click that button, where am I going? That's how you should think about it. Where am I going when I click that button? So now you navigate and you go, okay, this is the damper. So let's have them look at this. Press okay, press escape to get out of there. So you have the little hand again. Go to your above page, zoom out a little bit, zoom in. Now, when you click plan, it will take you back to the plan view, which is really nice. But I also like to leave myself um, a PNID. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to call this PNID. That way I'm, I'm sending, um, I'm linking it back. So I'm holding down shift H, right? And then now I'm going to drag over it. I'm gonna do, okay, where do I wanna go? Okay, I wanna go to the PNID. So I'm gonna go back up here and bam. Okay, now you have two links. Now I can go back and forth without having to navigate the drawings. And if you do this for a bunch of different instrumentation or even here like a tie point matrix or something, you'll save yourself a ton of time. Now this didn't take that long, right? This took a couple minutes, right? Super easy, super underutilized because a lot of people just leave their, their sets blank. Okay, so we made our whole set. It was pretty simple. It's not that crazy. I do have a full class on Bluebeam review. So I have a ton more, like how to slip sheet, you know, how to na navigate drawings. I go through more in depth on why we're doing this. I give you a whole bookmarked set and there's a little class project involved and that's all on Skillshare. I will link it below. You can get a free like 30 day trial, I think. So if you're interested and you want to up your Bluebeam skills, I will link it all below. But that is just what I wanted to put together because it was so useful and it's the class I wish that I had taken when I started in construction. So I hope you guys like it. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.